So we've seen a movement uh, towards changing our standards for early hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancer, where originally our predominant therapies had been systemic chemotherapy as well as endocrine therapy. And while those still may uh, remain staples uh, in our armamentarium of treatments, we now have some new agents. Uh, one, we have approval of a bemacyclib. Uh, so this is an oral CDK4-6 inhibitor that when given for two years with endocrine therapy does result in a significant improvement in invasive disease-free survival with about a third risk reduction uh, for uh, DFS events. So I think it really is a new standard for our high-risk hormone receptor positive HER2 negative patients. Uh, I think there are lots of questions that still remain surrounding this. Um, should they really just be restricted to high-risk patients? Are there patients, for example, with intermediate risk disease who could benefit? Could this potentially replace chemotherapy in some patients? So I think still a lot of questions that we could help address, um, even what's the proper duration. You know, two years was sort of randomly chosen as the duration in monarchy, but should it be longer? Could it have been shorter? I think there are all these questions that we still don't have answers to, but nice to have a new agent that is improving outcomes. Uh, we're awaiting data from Natalie, which will look at three years of ribocyclob. Um, so we'll see if there will be another CDK4-6 inhibitor that will also have benefit. But I think now we're also thinking about could other agents have benefit in this population? Could, for example, novel endocrine agents have a space here like oral SIRDs? Uh, and so there are multiple trials that are now ongoing and, and also planned to move into this space, both in the immediate adjuvant setting as well as in the late adjuvant setting. So I do think, you know, it's been a couple of decades since we've seen approvals for new agents in the early stage setting and a sort of broke that barrier and hopefully we will continue to see more agents move into this space.